Well, you know what uh, Saturday is. Roses are red, yep. violets are blue. It's Valentine's Day. Yep, the Did carpet get... needs shampooed, and so do you. <laughs> Did you get Mrs. Fitz anything? Well, Valentine's Day? I, I am, uh, I'm shopping. Shopping? I'm shopping for my sweet pea. Oh, what do you get the woman that has everything? Yep. Well, you, uh, you, she can always find something. She finds something. Well, get yeah. her a big box of candy. Big box of candy? Big box of candy. All That'll right. Keep her happy. Yeah. She could probably use some, some new shoes. New shoes. And yeah. Maybe a flower. Maybe a, a flower, maybe a nice a, flower. Nice rose. A rose. Or a white rose. I'd say a dozen roses, but they're pretty expensive. Yeah, they are. Say one them. rose. Yeah. Do All right. Well, let's change the subject. Hello, and welcome to your old news update. I'm Izzy Fitz, I'm and that's Bud, Bud Driscoll. Driscoll. Haha, ha, beat you to it. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's shout out to our sponsors. Headley's Clothing, 1829 uh -huh. South 9th. Retire. Smoky Hill Museum, 211 West Iron. Iron and right. Eagle Crest Retirement Community, 1501 East Magnolia. Love them all. Topping the headlines from yesteryear. Okay, we're only going to go back 25 <clears throat> years to February 9th, 1990. In the modern era, Selena modern. sculptor Richard Bergen, who's still going good in, in yeah, his yeah. 80s, He's anxious to see the light bulb atop the Capitol Dome, replaced with the, his sculpture of a Kanza Indian. But Bergen has to be patient. He knows he's dealing with a bureaucracy, and that means he'll have to wait. And boy, did he wait. He waited. He finally got it up there, but... Well, it was you know, the turn of the century before he... Oh, that's right. Before it happened, wasn't it? Well, all good things are worth waiting that, for, That's right, that's right. February 14th. Valentine's Day, 1965. Well, looks what happened was happened then. That's right. Saturday, 60th anniversary, had the snowy atmosphere, but not the bitter temperature of that historic February 13, 1905, when the mercury dropped to the record lows for both Salina and the state. 60 years ago, the mercury was at the state's official bottom reading of 40 degrees below zero at Lebanon. In Salina, on that not that long ago date, the temperature stood at minus 31. That's mighty cold. That's chilly, baby. I don't think I'd be wearing short sleeves then. That's right. No, you weren't. You weren't get a tan that day. Either. Okay. It's February 9th, This one makes me hungry. Uh, a name that is beloved by Izzy. Yes. Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima. Whose name has been synonymous with pancakes for several generations. That's right. Will be in Salina all day Saturday. She will make headquarters at the 7th and Walnut store of the Dillon's Mercantile Company and will serve pancakes throughout the day. I missed it. Now, yeah, you missed I it. I missed it. That's, that's some good syrup, though. Oh, baby. That's some of the best. Uh, that's some yeah. of the best. Like pancakes. I can't yep. turn down a pancake. Nope, nope, nope. Mm -hmm. February 10th, 1940. Mabel M. Bagler of 213 mm. South 9th was found of unsound mind in a hearing held late Friday afternoon before probate judge Fred D. Joy. <laughs> Joy. Fred D. Joy. Freddie Joy. What a name for a guy that has such bad news. Yeah. An application has been made for her admission to a state hospital. I'm glad we don't have to stand in front of Fred D. Joy. They probably mm -hmm. found us, find us unsound mind. Yeah, I bet he had a scowl on his face when he probably. said it, too. Mm. Yeah. Judge Joy. Judge yeah, Joy. such Joy. All right, February 9th, 1915. Here's another sad, oh. sad tale of marriage. Yep. Claiming that she has been refused the right to attend social gatherings and that her husband ordered her to leave a dance, mm -hmm. Mrs. Annabelle Batdorf of New Cambria has She's filed an old suit Batdorf. for the divorce in the district court against George Batdorf. Oh, Georgie. The petition recites that the husband has not allowed the wife to go to places of enjoyment. Oh. Although he has gone with friends. Aha. Uh -huh. A number of specific instances are cited in one which she alleges he ordered her to quit playing tennis. Which she should have offered to wear a burqa. A burqa. You know, you compare that to uh, That's right. today's and uh, sexism. And what's wrong with tennis? Yeah, tennis is a, is a pure sport. I know, I know they have the little skirts and stuff. Yeah, but still. Well, I bet, he, bet she wasn't allowed to wear one. I know, not without bloomers. All right, and finally, from the, what was the name of that paper? Uh, Celine Daily Republican. Celine, Celina Daily Republican, February 15th, 1890. Andy Maloney got drunk the other day and was pulled. His honor... Or his, uh, his honor. His honor. A way of saying Finding him... $3 in costs, but granting a stay of execution of 60 minutes to allow Mr. Maloney 
to push himself out of town. Wow, I gave him 60 minutes to get the heck out of town. That's right. Read more about the way things used to be in the look back section of Monday's Salina Journal. Do you hear me? And now Zoner is going to give us 60 minutes to get out of this town. So uh, until then, we'll see you yesterday. <laughs>